everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to be talking about jewelry and how I style my necklaces and earrings and how I pair them with the different necklines within my wardrobe I thought this could be helpful I did get a couple of comments when I had mentioned that I was wearing that royal blue top that had the high neckline and how I wouldn't wear any necklaces because I think the top itself does all the work for you. I would just let the top speak for itself and maybe just focus on the earrings. I did get some comments suggesting that I do a video like this so I'm going to do my best to try and help out and give you some suggestions and ideas and reasons why I would or wouldn't wear certain pieces with certain tops. I've spoken enough, let's get started. I thought the best way to do this type of video is just trying on different tops and picking up some pieces that I have laid out here, M mainly my go-to pieces and showing you what I would wear with each top. I selected pieces in my closet that I think most people have in their wardrobe and they're pretty basic pieces, so I'm hoping that it does cover um, everybody's wardrobe. If it doesn't and you have questions on a specific piece, I'd be happy to help you with that. As you know, I say this disclaimer all the time. I'm not an expert. I just do what I think looks proper and what I feel comfortable in. Everybody has different jewelry style and that's one thing I do want to touch on really quick. For the most part I wear gold. I do have some silver pieces but for some reason I just like the way gold complements my skin tone. There is a lot of debate that if you if silver looks good on you then you're more cooler and if gold looks good on you then you're more of a warmer tone if you can wear both then you're more neutral i'm not so sure how much i subscribe to that but that is one thought process that that you may hear but for me i just like the way gold looks on me better than silver but i do like some silver pieces i do have mainly gold that i'll be showing i'm not really sure that i have too much silver Maybe a gold and silver together might pop up on here, but for the most part, it's all gold. Okay, this top that I'm wearing is a white polyester blend top. And if you can see, it has more of a crew neck style neckline. I tried to bring it in a little bit closer. You see how it just lies straight across and the neckline, it just follows the neckline. I think it just works nicely. It's just enough that you don't need much more hanging down. I do just have on a pair of gold small hoops. Again, very simple, understated, but there's something about it that I feel works for the look of the top. You know, I could dress this top up, but for the most part, I would just have it on with a pair of jeans and go about my day. Maybe I'd throw on a blazer or something. But for me, this is just a simple look. It looks like I put a lot of thought into it. When I didn't, I just, again, follow the neckline and just have some simple earrings in. But I do think it looks nice. Again, there's no right or wrong per se. I think it's just a matter of what you feel comfortable in. But for me, I think this looks just fine. It looks really pretty. It's a nice thick chain. It lays nicely. And again, it's just a simple look, but yet yeah, it pulls the outfit together. And on my wrist, this is a watch that I wear an awful lot because it does have the gold face and it's tortoiseshell and I feel like it goes with a lot. This is one of my go-to watches if I'm not wearing the Apple Watch. I don't have anything on my wrist and I don't have any rings on. I could add a bracelet or two or even a stack, but I'm very comfortable right now, especially in the summer and the more casual days. I don't necessarily go for bracelets. Sometimes the weight of them actually hurts my arms. I don't know if that's because I'm just so weak. I don't know, but if I'm just running around just during the day, I tend to not put on bracelets. When I'm working, I'll wear bracelets, but a lot of times I actually end up taking them off during the workday. But for now, no bracelet, no rings, 
and the watch necklace earrings. Okay, let's go to the next one. The next top I have on is just a cardigan. It has a v-neck line, and I paired this just with a simple solitaire necklace, but this time I added some longer hoops, but a more dainty hoop as opposed to like a chunkier style hoop, but these are just a little bit more dainty. I think the longer earrings and the simple necklace balance out the overall look. And I'll probably be saying that a lot, so bear with me. But that's my take on why I chose longer earrings and a simple necklace. And if you can see how it just sort of follows the neckline. In my last video, I had paired this just with a pair of dress pants and a pair of pumps just to dress it up a little bit. And this is probably what I would do if I were, you know, going to the office or something. This is how I would style it. And then for a little bit more of a casual look, maybe going out to dinner, I think this longer layered necklace goes really nicely with it as well. I think it follows the line and does exactly what we wanted to do. It balances everything out. And I would keep the same earrings on. Clearly you can go with the smaller gold tube or even just a, a bigger hoop like I showed earlier. But again, you can play around and see what your comfort level is. If you have your hair in a ponytail or off your face, for me, that would also generally be a focus for me on which earrings I would wear. Actually, comment down below. Let me know what your preferred style of necklines are. Are you a v-neck? Are you more of a boat neck or a crew neck, high neck? Let me know also what you would do differently that would maybe helpful to others. Here for instance, this isn't a, a wrong or right. Again, I've already disclaimed this video, but this is a boat neck top or as close for me as I have in my wardrobe as far as boat neck is concerned. But do you see how this necklace sort of gets lost in the line of the necklace? I wouldn't go for this type of necklace with this top. Again, nothing wrong with it, but I feel like we can do better. This would be my choice in how I would pair the boat neck. I do like the choker look with this type of neckline because I think it there's a lot going on up here. I think you want to highlight the upper part and you don't want to drag it down and I think that that's what more of a medium length would do. Longer, you could get away with it. I think I would just keep it as simple as a nice choker or something closer around your neck. Clearly, I could go a little bit longer. I did put this chain link necklace on as well. You could get away with wearing both of them or just bringing it down a little bit further. This top has a little bit more of a scoop neckline, whereas maybe a, a true like boat neck sweater may fall a little flatter. But again, I think I would still stick with either a choker or something closer to your neck than I would go down. I would draw it out with something closer. So here's where I think you can have some fun with a basic white button down shirt. There's nothing overly exciting about it. Obviously it looks great in many outfits, but for the most part, it's more on the casual side, right? You'd wear it with jeans. Maybe you'd wear it with a pair of denim shorts, a pair of leggings, a little bit more casual. But what you can have fun with is the layering of the necklaces. The layered look of necklaces is on trend. I don't know that it's going away anytime soon. So here's where I think you can add the layered necklace look and sort of elevate the outfit. I like the contrast of the chunkier chain and the thinner chains. That would be another way to wear it. You could even go down further. It does still have that v-neck look to it. So you can certainly add a longer piece, even longer than say the chunkier necklace. But I mean, I've worn it several different ways already. I've worn it longer. I just like the chunkiness of one necklace and the thinner of the other two. I think it's a nice contrast, like I said. And then I have on the longer 
gold hoops and that's the look i did put on a plain gold ring with the watch this to me it can make just a plain casual look a little bit more sophisticated or shall we say that you really put some thought into it when really it, it's just the added accessories of the necklaces and that's what jewelry is they're all accessories right we could put a scarf on and that could be an accessory but right now we're talking jewelry tell me what you think of this look is this something that you could see yourself doing maybe not the exact necklaces the way that i have them set up would you go longer would you only do one necklace tell me what your thoughts are I also wanted to do a look with pearls because they are just classic, timeless, and they never go out of style. So I have on uh, just a single strand. I just paired it with these stud earrings. I don't know that there's a neckline that I can come up with that pearls wouldn't work for. Obviously, there's better choices, but I think this looks just as nice with this neckline as it would with a v-neck pearls I just feel are very versatile and you can really do a lot with them. I do have a longer, it's costume jewelry, it's not real pearls, but it's just a costume long one. I wouldn't necessarily wear it with this, but I could, or I could wear it with like a black satin button down and just have them coming down the center like I had on the white, but have them fall and I think the contrast of the black and white would look really nice. For me, I don't want to take away from the look of the pearl, so I want to keep the ears a little bit more understated. This top is a little bit more dressier, so I feel as if the stud earrings with the pearl necklace just like this is enough. I don't need anything more. I don't need hanging earrings, just the ring, a watch, and some bracelets if you choose to and i think you're good to go and maybe if you have a costume or even a real pearl bracelet just a single strand could really complete this look let me know in the comments do you still wear pearls do you have some that you're not sure what to wear with it maybe this will give you some inspiration to pull them out Here's the blue top I was speaking about earlier in the video. And as you can see how it has it's a higher neck sheared around the collar. And then the front has a pleated look going across the top. And I had said earlier, and even in my video when I featured it, that I wouldn't wear a necklace with this. And the reason being for me, if I were to put a necklace on, whether it's short or long, I feel like it's going to take away from the design of the top. Let me show you what it would look like with a short necklace on and even a long and leave a comment down below and let me know if you can understand where I'm coming from, where it takes it away, or you still think it looks okay. So here you can see with the pearl necklace, I don't think it looks bad, but can you see my point in how it just distracts from the entire look of the top? Here we have a little bit longer of a necklace. Do you see where it just it doesn't do anything for the top itself. I hope actually seeing the necklaces on with this top gives you an understanding as to why I wouldn't wear um, a necklace with it and I would just play up the earrings. Just something like this and leaving it as it is. But again, to each their own. I wanted to end the video with a little bit more of a statement piece. And I chose this necklace with this black blazer. So my style would be to wear this blazer with a pair of denim or a skirt or a pair of dress slacks, a dress even. I would wear it in so many different ways. My point is it's a fun piece. It stands out and I don't think you should shy away from having those statement moments. Yes, right now the layered, more simple, thinner chains are in, but you can't go wrong with the statement piece. I think there's a place for it in your jewelry collection, absolutely. 2022, you're going to see a lot of color, a lot of bold colors in fashion as well as in jewelry. And I do have a bolder piece jewelry that are really vibrant colors that I will be bringing out this year. But this piece to me is always going to stay in my collection because it's just not going anywhere. And quite frankly, even if 
they said it didn't work for the season i'm still wearing it because i feel good in it and that's all that matters on that note that ends today's video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you got some inspiration i hope you got some understanding i hope this helps you going forward picking out your jewelry and how you're going to pair certain necklines with certain pieces so i do hope it helped please leave a comment down below letting me know all your thoughts and your suggestions for other videos. I really appreciate you being here. Thank you. We'll see you in my next video. Bye.